Hi guys, good morning. This is Sajjad Hussain again. Today I have started a new tutorial. Let me explain. Same book and this is example number 3.3. .3. This is a very interesting example. It shows a continuous beam but the interesting point is there are three spans first span is between node number 1 and 2 second span is between 2 and 3 and third span is between 3 and 4 first span has a length of 100 feet the second span has a length of 140 feet and the third span has a length of 100 feet again but this mid span is divided into three segments basically uh, more the, the nodes are introduced or hinges are introduced which will release the moment this first hinge is from 20 meter from node point number two or node number two and uh, also from 20 meter from node number three Now, what will be the impact of introduction of these hinges? That means there will be no moment at this point and it will change the whole scenario. Why this is important? Because this sort of concept is used in bridge design. I found a paper, very nice paper, and uh, the same concept is used over there. Let me share with you the paper. This is what I was looking for and I found on internet. I downloaded that one. This is experimental and computational evaluation of current and innovative in span hinge details and in first concrete box cutter bridges. This is by Mithyas A. Hube and Khalid M. Musallam from University of California. We have shared a very nice picture. Here is the picture of the hinge on the bridge. So you can imagine how important this problem is. If we want to analyze a bridge with hinges in the span, so this concept will be very helpful. So let's go to STAD and let's model this one and let us see what will be the effect. Let's start new project plane example three point three with Alan William units are feet and kip finish. So let me insert the values of all these nodes, the coordinates. Node number 1 as usual 0, node number 2 is at 100 feet, node number 3 is 100 plus 140 is 240 feet and node number 4 is plus 100 is 340 feet. Coming back to this window, let us join these nodes. And all these nodes are simply pin support let us assign pin support fine i can assign some fictitious members as well which is not very important let me assign some steel sections let it be w say 
Let me put node number on, beam number on. I don't want to show the sections. Close. Now, this member number two, it will divide it into three segments. That means I have to insert nodes. The first node will be added at 20 feet. And second will be at 120 feet. Okay, so now this is divided into three segments. I can measure from this point to this point 100 feet, from this point to this point it is 20 feet, from here to here again 20 feet, and this is 100 feet. And of course, this is also 100 feet. So our geometry is correct. Let me remove these dimensions. Now I have to define the loads, very simple loads. Add load case of load case number one. Okay, and I have to define simply a member load concentrated force that is minus forty kip. That will be the middle of this band. Let me assign this load to these members. So these forces are assigned simply at the perform analysis command save let us analyze fine so no warning nothing but we have not released these two nodes. We have not released this member at these two points. So what we have to do, we have to release. So this member should have releases. The start is moment is released. Then at the end, so and at the same time we have to release this. And we have to release the start of this beam. Let's save. Let's run the analysis command. There are two warnings. We can ignore that one. Let's go to post processing. Fine. I don't want to see the deflections. Now, first the reactions. 16, 44, 44, 16. If you go back to that. Yes. Now, let's see the shear force and bending moment diagram. Let's see first the shear force diagram. I'm not interested. 
certain bending moment now. Let it make more visible shear force in Z direction. Let's see what the values are. So, force unit, I don't want to show the decimal places it will be very easy so on the left hand side this is 16 keep up 24 down 24 20 20 24 keep and 16 keep let's see what is the values given here 16 24 20 20 24 and 16 that means exactly the same shear force we are getting and for the moment, let's support 800, 400, 1400, and 800. Let's see the bending moment. Here is the bending moment diagram. Let's supply the values. Okay, 800, 400, 1,400, exactly the same. So we have explored another capability of a STAD. That means we can apply the hinges. We can design bridges if they have the hinges in their spans safely without any problem. Thank you very much.